Hey guys, this is Kenjino and welcome to another MakeShop Pro video. Today we're going to talk about video editing in PaintShop Pro. Now PaintShop Pro, by nature, does not work with video. It doesn't input it, it doesn't export it, but the process that we're going to use is essentially to use a video editor to break up a piece of video into individual images, then use batch processing in PaintShop Pro to apply an effect and then use the video editor once again to reassemble those individual images back into a video clip that it can work with. As I mentioned earlier, we're going to be branching out with different software and we're going to start combining different capabilities to produce much better projects. And so in this case, we're combining PaintShop Pro with video editing. The video editor that I am going to use because I've been using it for a long time is Magic Vegas uh, version 15. So to get started, let's take a look at some sample footage that I got uh, on my stock video of just a bunch of different flowers. And then we're gonna jump right into using Vegas. So the first thing you'll see is I've brought all of the sample video images into the workspace and then I've dragged it into the timeline. And so in here, just like any video editor, we can preview just how the video looks. And so now what we want to do is go to File, Render As, and then I'm going to select Image Sequence as the format, and then check my file type, which in this case I'm going to use PNGs, verify my output folder path, and then give that image sequence a general name, and sequence numbers will be appended to the end of those files. Then we click Render, and then we wait a good long time for all of those images to be rendered by the program. So then what will follow in your folder system is you should see a very large amount of images generated, individual PNGs for your entire video. So now in PaintShop Pro, we can go to File, Batch Process, and in this window, we can click the Add button and select all of those images that were in that folder. Once they're loaded, and that may take a while depending on how many you have, you can then move on to the Batch Actions tab. And on here you can see there's a lot of different things that can be done in batch processing, but we're going to focus on running a script. In particular, what I wanted to do for this video was add an artistic effect, so I chose Colored Chalk. And the key thing is you want it to be in silent mode. This will ensure that dialogues won't come up and nothing will appear that will prevent your processing from continually running on its own. Then on the Output Settings tab, you just want to set your output path and the file format type, and then Letter Rip. This also may take a good long while, so you may want to grab some coffee as this is running. So now let's look at some of the images after they've been rendered by that script. Okay, so now we're back in Vegas again, now that we've processed all of our frames in the way that we wanted to with PaintShop Pro, and we can go to File, Import Media, and then once again, we can go to the folder where the new images are generated and make sure Open Sequence is selected. In this way, we can give that new video clip a name, and as it's represented in our workspace, it's going to be a single segment of video. Now I had to actually do this twice because not all the images got rendered in one pass and so you'll see that I have two batches that I have to create and then stitch together. We'll see that in Vegas this is really easy to do as each of them are represented as video blocks. I can just drag them into my timeline and then very simply click on the ends to drag them and clip them to the length that I would like. Now the video is fully stitched together we can preview a little bit just to make sure that it's looking the way we expect it to, and you can see that artistic effect now applied with motion. And to finish it all off, all we have to do is drag in some music provided by bensound.com, and then we can grab these little carrots in the corners to add some fade both in and out to complete our video. Finally, we can go to File, Render As, but this time instead of image sequence, we can choose a standard MP4 format for HD on the internet, give it a name and render that, and then we'll see this rendered video with the artistic clips right at the end. 
So that's it. If you ever worked with batch processing, this should seem very familiar to you. Uh, the concept of exporting and importing images into a video editor is pretty common. Um, you'll just want to make sure your frame rates are all the same in all the places where you're working with them. And you'll also want to consider how long your video clips are because as I've mentioned earlier, this process of batch processing can take a long time, especially if you have a very sophisticated script that you're using. But the benefit is you can create any script in PaintShop Pro that you can come up with and apply it to video at this point. So before we jump into the final render, I just want to end with some of the what's next information. Uh, if you have any questions or suggested content, feel free to leave a comment. If you want to get updates on the content that I'm generating, go ahead and subscribe. And there will also be a blog post for this video, so go ahead and check out the blog and the link provided. And uh, that's about it, so see you guys next time.